day and if you all know, last year I posted a video about us, me and my husband, exchanging gifts because it was our anniversary. And one year has passed and it's again, of course, it's our anniversary again. It's actually a yearly thing, if you get what I mean. But this time of the year, again, we're stuck here at home. I think it was almost the same as last year. So we just decided to just exchange gifts. And this time, we've decided to buy a gift that's beneficial for the both of us. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Zayan, and you're watching Misunderstood Cheeky. And my vlog is all about migrating in Australia and our life here in Melbourne. So again, welcome back to my channel. And if you've seen the thumbnail of this photo, you've already guessed what are the gifts that we bought this year. Let's begin to open our gifts in three, two, one. One more. And another one. And another one. Last but not the least. Okay, so let's unbox one by one these things that we've purchased for our anniversary. It's actually our seventh anniversary, so I think it's a special year for us. Let's unbox this one by one and you might get to see some demo of these things that we've purchased for our anniversary. Happy anniversary to us! Start off with, this is the first one that we're going to unbox. This is a Breville Bambino Plus, which is actually an espresso machine. We actually contemplated if we're going to get this one or the La Specialista from DeLonghi, but have decided to get this instead. I'm going to open this and we'll tell you more about this machine and why we chose the Breville Bambino Plus. So first thing that we've got is the razor. Okay, here's the razor. If you all know the razor, is the one that you use to flatten the coffee when it's ready on the basket. So I have the tamper. Okay, so I, I have two baskets in it. So yeah, this basket is the pressurized one. I have two of it. One dose and the two dose, which is already here. I'm not gonna remove it anymore because we'll be using that one. So then you put this small pitcher for the milk. When you want to steam or make some froth. Oh, and we've also included some two tablets of the cleaning tablets here inside as well. And the rubber that you use that you put on the basket when you clean the machine. So it doesn't leave a huge footprint in your kitchen. That's why it's actually one of the reasons why we chose this as well. Hence the name Bambino. It's not Bambo. <laughs> it's small. Alright, so the machine has this water tank here at the back. So it has 1900 or 1 liter and 900 milliliter that you can put here in this bag. So, in front, this is the milk frother and what's nice with this one is cleans by itself when you put it down. Later on, when we make some coffee, I will show you how this one works. Also, there is this thing here wherein it actually monitors the temperature of your milk. So, this machine is actually for new people who actually doesn't know what they're doing. So. <laughs> It also has this red, if you can see. I don't want to remove it. I'll remove it later when we're using it. But there's this red floater inside so that you know when you need to remove the water that has been spilled inside this water storage. Okay, let's put this aside and then open our coffee grinder. So this is a Breville the Dose Control Pro. So this one is actually a grinder that you can change its coarseness and its fineness. So that's actually the main reason why we chose this one as well. For us who doesn't know how to grind our coffee, I think 
there's gonna be a lot of trial and error making this coffee but you can see it is actually a grinder for pro <laughs> so it's not actually a grinder for someone who is an amateur in making coffee no, I'm just kidding actually I think it is for amateurs that's why you can set you can set the coarseness and the fineness of the grains at the same time personalize it based on how you want your coffee and save that setting for your next grind. So this is the brochure, came with it. This is where you put your beans. These are, I think, I'm not sure how you really how you call this the catcher? Is it a catcher? I think it's a catcher. And the machine itself. I love the plug how they actually made their plug because there's this round thing or the holder that you can put your finger in when you plug it in and when you want to pull it out. It's actually difficult if, if you want to unplug some of your plugs from the outlet itself because you have to pull it from the head. And normally the head is just this slim, so it's kind of difficult for me to, especially when your hands are wet. So this is actually a wise invention. Like this. Okay, so here's how it looks like. You can change the coarseness from here, and if you want it to be fine, you can also twist it. At the same time, you can remove this grinder here from inside, and you can also twist it if you want your beans to be finer. At the same time, there is also the timer here, which if like for example, you want your beans to be grinded in just 20 seconds, and then you can just put it on 20 seconds, and the next time that you have selected that second, the next time you're going to grind your coffee, then it's going to be at the same time. So basically, the first time that you're going to grind your, your new beans, then you have to tweak this a bit. And once you've already decided or once you've found the right taste for you, then you don't have to twist or turn this knob again the next time. So this is actually the catcher, if that's how you call it. So this is going to be here. And this is going to be here. So this is the portrait filter. So when you're going to get some coffee that has been grinding from here, it's actually the grinder, but Alan doesn't want me to put it yet because he said he wants to wash this first. But yeah, it's from. You'll be putting it. <laughs> so you'll be putting it here, and you'll be putting your your beans here, grind it, and then it'll come out from this one. Then you can make your coffee. But let me put it aside first because yeah, as I mentioned, Alan doesn't want me to put it on yet. So put this one aside. We've also purchased a knockbox because it came cheap through Amazon and came very fast as well with the delivery. This one, I think we just purchased this for 20, 20 something dollars. I'll be putting the links of these items below in the description box if you're interested. We got it in a good deal if we will compare it to the price in Good Guys or in um, JB Hi-Fi. I think we got it cheaper from Amazon, I think. Alan said that, yeah, we did. So this is the knock box where you put all your ground coffee because this is where you actually knock your water filter. We watched from YouTube that you have to knock this one on a rubber thing instead of just knocking it on your trash bin directly to avoid damage of the baskets. Put this aside here. Anyway, if you think that the ground coffee that you use after just having one coffee, and you think it's a waste, you can actually put it on your plants. Just don't overdo it. For me, I put it on my plants as a fertilizer. At the same time, before, when I was younger, I use it as an exfoliating thing for my skin because uh, it helps a lot. And after that, after your shower, actually leave your skin smooth. Trust me on that, but don't overdo it. And the last but not the least, Shout out to Ed for referring to us 
Out Drug Coffee Online Seller. We ordered this this week and um, it actually arrived like I believe five days after ordering it. So this one has um, a free delivery via Australia Post, but I think you have to at least spend around $50 to have it delivered to your doorstep. We haven't decided what coffee we wanted yet. That's why it's actually a good thing to try out from them. Thus, at the same time, they have these packages that came out cheaper if you're going to buy them in bundle. So these coffees are actually all roasted here in Melbourne. And if you all know, and if you've been here to Melbourne, their coffees are the best. So why go to Sydney? Come here in Melbourne. <laughs> so the first one that we got is the seasonal espresso. This is actually a roasted hazelnut with orange and brown sugar. It's from Market Lane. And the thing is, they have this thing here at the back to avoid its oxidation. Oxidization. To no. <laughs> It prevents the coffee bean to being stale for after some few weeks. So today is the 18th and this coffee was roasted 15th of June. We read somewhere that it's actually best for the coffee to be consumed 5 days after till the 20th day. So this is actually a good day since this was roasted on the 15th of June and today is the 18th. So we have this one, seasonal espresso from Market Lane. Next one that we have is Padre Coffee. Okay, this one was roasted on the same day, June 15th. And the last but not the least, I love their packaging as well. So you see, this one is the Padre Coffee. And this one is ex-wife. Look at the packaging, it's so cute. So this was roasted on June 10th. This was the oldest, so I think we will use this first. But I can smell the coffee. Mm. Yeah, I can smell it from the outside and it has this Ziploc thing. All of them? Does all of them have it? Uh, no. This one has it. This one, the lock that comes with it is like the one that you have with Chips Ahoy. If you're familiar with it, so it's like this one. You have to fold it back and then fold this little wire thing so that you can avoid for this to get stale. Those are the three coffees that we have. We will try our coffee now and stay tuned. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. It's actually a long vlog, but our anniversary only comes yearly. So I hope that you stay tuned from all of the unboxing that I did as well as the coffee making that we did. Again, if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. This is Diane. You're watching Misunderstood Cheeky and you have a great day. Cheers guys, bye! Bye!